Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I believe I just ate. Did I eat? My memory sucks. I did eat. I got slugger. Watch me not be able to use it well. Because <laughs> that's what happened last time. So today we're going to take on uh, a couple of Lagambis to start with. I'm going to grab some hot drinks first. <laughs> because uh, I will definitely want them. I still need to get more hot drinks. I'm running low. Oh, that's not what I want. Well, we'll get to him eventually. We're on thin ice. All right. Good old Lagambis. Where am I? Okay, six. So I can drop into here. Should be able to pop out of this next room directly into with one of them. Or I could walk directly into one of them already. I was hoping that would... Ooh, was not expecting that. This is kind of a big Lagambi. Uh, not what I had intended to do. I had let go of a direction before I let go of R. That should have been a ground pound. I did not realize he was raged. Did you just put a shock trap down? Go Kayumba and actually being useful. Come over here. Come into the trap. Come into this trap. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Good boy. Damn it. Damn. Oh my god. That damn Giggy. I don't know how that missed, but I'll take it. I'm gonna get this shiny before it vanishes. Or not. I uh, will get hit before I get my shiny. And I'll probably get hit for take. Nope. He let me take it. You gonna do a third one? Whoa! I don't know how that missed me, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought he was gonna charge me again right there. Looked like it. Getting tired? Nope. Fine, usually when he gets into you doing two and three at a time, he usually doesn't do less than two. Now he is getting hungry, okay. That's that's the thing. It hadn't quite kicked in yet. Oh, come on. As if that went right over his head. So this hammer is actually really powerful. It's got over a thousand raw, it's got a few hundred fire if I remember correctly, and it's got like 10% affinity. I can upgrade it once more and then it'll be absolutely maxed I believe. You didn't go far. I was caught on an invisible wall. Because of course I was.
Wait, you're hungry. How did you not fall from doing that? Well, second KO. Unlike Volvodon, apparently I can hit this one's head. There we go. I knew that was a, a good enough angle for the, uh, the golf swing at the end to actually hit. <laughs> oh, wow, that was actually nice. I was not expecting to hit that third one. Alright, you're getting away. I'm not going to stop him from getting away this time. I wonder where that second one is. Right here. Beautiful. I was hoping he would... Okay, he left. Ow, I disagree. I think I should have been able... I should have dodged that. Whoa, hello, he got angry. I think I should have dodged that swipe, but... Uh, the game clearly said no. Okay. I saw my fire hit go off there. I at least got my hit too. Which is something the game so often robs me of. I don't know if I hit Lagambi with that slam or if I hit Kayamba. How are you still alive? I'm gonna hit these while I'm here. Because why not? I didn't get any high rank parts from that. The Tundra is actually usually good for materials. Oh, excuse me. I, I just swallowed a hiccup or something. I didn't get... I don't think I got any high rank stuff from that either. What's going on? Did he go into this one or did he go in the other one? Oh, he, he sleeps in here. Yeah, he, he sleeps in six. He's here. So, Lagambi is as weak as always. I say that, but I believe he did kind of kick my ass a little bit. <laughs> but uh, just like uh, in all the other games, and like earlier, he's weak to fire. And uh, I don't know what else he's weak to. I honestly don't remember if, he's, if he has any other worthwhile uh, weaknesses to point out. Of course you're not in here. You're probably going to be either here or in the other cave. There you are. And I don't tend to paintball these guys because they're easy to track. They don't like burrow anywhere, they just they slide out. So you see them leave an area, you know where they are. Good. I did hit him on the backswing. That worked beautifully. I'm getting hit. Oh my god, how did I not get hit? <laughs> I don't know how I managed that, but I'll take it. Alright, so I don't know if I've mentioned it yet in this playthrough, but I've I believe I mentioned it in uh, in Freedom Unite, although it wasn't a thing in Freedom Unite. It was a thing in, uh, I believe, starting 
Yeah, either in try, or if not in try, then portable third. And then again into three ultimate. But if you use that, uh, ooh, if you use the side swipe with a hammer, this here, it's weaker than just the, the standard uh, overhead swing. And by that, I mean this one right here. That. It's weaker than that, but it gives you a little bit of uh, flinch resistance. So little light taps won't knock you out of your uh, your combo for for the next uh, for the next hit at least. Uh, you still might get knocked out of your combo if you uh, if you don't pull off the gulf swing in time. I might be wrong about that. I need the sharpen. I'm down to yellow. But uh, that is something very handy. So every now and then you can pull off, get away with a, a quick weaker swipe in there to. Uh, to stop yourself from being flinched out of your combo. I should take a hot drink, but I feel like at this point I don't need to. Although I probably should, considering I think by this point in the hunt with the other one I had KO'd him twice. This guy has avoided all KOs. I'm getting hit. <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I pulled my hammer out, I knew it was a mistake. Well, this guy is flinching a lot. I think I'm just missing his head with a, with a lot of these attacks. I think I'm hitting his legs or his chest. Oh, good heal. Right across the face. How are those... How is... Seriously, how are his ears not broken after everything? There was no avoiding that. I had already committed. I had already hit the attack button. <laughs> Cha Cha. Cha Cha flinched him. That's so great. Hey, hey, hey. I'm about to run out of stamina. Oh my! I got him with the gold swing! He came into it! That's awesome! There's the broken ears. Perfect. Great time for the KO. How did that miss? Alright, he's getting away. I don't understand how that, uh, that gull swing missed there. That... Like, went right over his head, apparently. Like, I, how did that not collide with any part of his body? It was right beside him. Oh, get out of there. You are too close to that entrance. Nope. Oh, how did that hit me? I disagree. There we go. That was a nice sat that was actually a very satisfying upswing. I thought I missed him, clipped him in the chin, and just finished him off. That was great. Alright, so I'm gonna go into that cave and hopefully get uh, uh I was holding the other direction. Thank you, game. I miss the tight controls in world when I'm playing this game, I really do. Because uh, I was I was holding towards the cave when I hit uh Oh, I'm in the wrong cave. Well then, let's go into this cave. Maybe I can get to a mining point here before uh, my time expires. Well, there's one here. I was expecting to come out into that cave over there. Uh, I got turned around, apparently. But yeah, the uh, well, that's not going to switch in time. But the controls in this, like, I was holding up on my uh, control stick, which was towards the cave, and when I hit dodge, I rolled in the direction I was facing, not in the direction I was holding. That would not have been a thing in World. You would have moved in the direction you were holding, as opposed to in front of you from that, and I don't know why this game does that. It does not like you going in the opposite direction of where you're facing when you go to roll. It has no problem with you going left or right or forward. In fact, it really wants you to go forward. But uh, it's just, uh, it's a little annoying to me. That hunt took 
longer than I expected. We're that that took like fifteen minutes almost. I'm actually really shocked that it took that long. So I'm actually going to change up my 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 plan here. I was going to do a different hunt, but I guess because of uh, the time now, I think we're just going to do Great Baggy instead. Which is kind of funny because I uh, I accidentally picked that quest to begin with. I guess uh, the game knew I should probably restock my uh, my hot drinks. I don't. <laughs> if I end up needing a second hot drink uh, against Great Baggy, I will be very very disappointed in myself. Ah, oh, why aren't you fresh? Why? I'm getting screwed with uh with ingredients lately. I really feel like I'm getting screwed with ingredients lately. What, uh... I guess I'll go with... go for Dung Master. Something else shows up and get rid of him pretty fast. Alright, so I guess we'll go with the leader of the Ice Pack. And hope, uh hope that if something does show up to uh, to make life more interesting, uh, it's not a, a nuisance. Because at this point, it could be Devil Joe. Uh, Devil Joe shows up everywhere. It could be... Uh, wh where am I? I'm here. Okay, no, I do want to go north here. But yeah, it could be Devil Joe. It could be because of the Tundra. It could be Baryoth. It could be Giganox. Uh, it could be subspecies of the... I wanted to throw a paintball before I started this. Because he sometimes takes uh, some magic shortcuts that we can't. Wake me up! Cha-cha! Cha-cha! Wake me up! Stop running away from me! Wake me up! Wake me up! Oh god, Kayamba! Thank you! I should have ran to Kayamba. Clearly, Cha-cha doesn't like me... Guys, wake me up! No, you're dancing! Ah! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> so Ow! <laughs> Somebody... One of the baggies hit me and then I immediately got spat on by another one. Oh my god. Alright, so... Whoa, hello. Uh, eating for feline insomniac is actually useful in quests like this because you can't be put to sleep, you're immune to sleep. However, you can't sleep in the bed at camp either. It's something to keep your eye on if you're planning on using that. Okay, so... Right there, I used the side swipe to sort of... Oh my... Oh, damn it, how did that hit me? It, it had finished. <laughs> you, you guys saw, like... I, I wasn't seeing things there. Something hit... The spit landed in front of me and behind me. Splashed vanished, then I got put to sleep. Like, wh what happened there? But as I was saying before I got spat on, apparently, I used my side swipe to power through one of the little light hits, and uh, Baggy did end up hitting me as I was starting my upswing out of it, so... Uh, I wasn't sure if you can get hit out of the upswing part of that. You can. So the, the extra protection you get is just for this follow-up swing there. It's not for the... It's not for that final hit. I'm getting hit. All right, you are. There are way too many little little guys here. Uh, game. All right, so I hit dodge like three times there, and it didn't let me dodge out of that. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Right again. And fine, I'll do it again. There we go, Slugger. Oh, I don't have Slugger. KO. <laughs> I don't know where Slugger came from. I really don't know where Slugger came from there. Wow, I just that just did a ton of damage to him there. Oh! I was not expecting him to actually get me there.
That was perfect. He pushed me out of the way of his own attack. And I am definitely making use of that swipes, uh, little side swipes hyper armor, I'm gonna call it. I don't know how much less. I, I don't know how much he has left here, but. Oh, he's not limping. Oh, he's going. He's just going right over to eat. I actually forgot he can eat in here. Oh, I missed. I missed. That didn't. He's not limping? I am... I'm genuinely surprised he's not limping after the beating I just gave him. I, I really thought he'd be limping by now. I didn't think he'd put up this much of a fight. Oh, perfect. He fell back into my attack range. Awesome. That's fine, I already got my big hit. Okay, I gotta... These little guys are getting in the way. So, Baggy, as you might imagine, being an ice monster, or a tundra dwelling monster, weak to ice. <laughs> of course, weak to ice! Strong to ice, weak to fire. There we go. Hi, Giganox. Oh, why do you have to be in here too? So this is one of the monsters that I was hoping not show up. Because high rank Giganox, as you can see, how did that miss? As you notice, that poison wasn't the usual purple it has been in uh, in low rank. It was uh, had a little bit of like a magenta sort of color to it instead. And yes, I'm using the color magenta. <laughs> I, I will use that color. I will say that name. But uh, yeah, it's actually toxic poison in this, which is. Still cured by the same old antidotes, as well as being uh, having poison immunity from armor will make you immune to the toxic as well. It is basically just the second level of poison. It does damage a lot faster, and it's much more dangerous to have. It's something you actually do want to make sure you heal off, because you will get smacked the shit out of like that if you don't pay attention to what's going on. It, it will eat your life away a lot faster than you uh, than you would expect. So uh, not having antidotes while fighting like high rank Giganox is uh, is definitely dangerous. I would not recommend it, unless of course you're immune to poison, in which case have at it. Oh, the upswing! I actually meant backswing when I said upswing, but same thing. <laughs> nice big upper uppercut, caught him on the back part. That was a much quicker quest than uh, I had uh, expected it to be. Baggy usually moves around a lot more than he did, and I gotta say, making use of that extra, those extra, like hyper armor, essentially those flinch-free uh, things you get after that, uh, or things time you get after your uh, your side swing with a hammer, really made a difference. I'm getting a lot of earth crystals. That's actually really good. I need a lot of earth crystals. But uh, that actually made a big difference there, because I just literally stood there through those attacks and just continued my combo and just kept the damage up through a large portion of that. So uh, the only downside to doing that is like not a big problem here, because Baggy doesn't hit very hard. 
but uh, you're still taking hits. Like it does not reduce your damage, uh, so or reduce the damage you take. So you still gotta to watch your health if you're gonna power through things like that. And oh, I got another. Oh, it's a Bergwin gem, right? Oh, that was like, oh great, I got another Wyvern Stone, I need those, but no, it's a Bird Whipping Gem from this guy. A low rank hide, thank you. Thank you so very much. Gluttony and Protection. Protection I'm going to hold on to. So, something I mentioned before, and I'm going to reiterate it here, if you select something here, I've got it highlighted. It, if you don't go down to send a box and click it, it will not be sent to your box. <laughs> you will end up selling it. <laughs> so be mindful of that, because that actually happened to me. Ironically, uh, right after I mentioned that in an episode, uh, when I was doing stuff off camera, I've got three things, a, c a couple weapons and a charm that I wanted to ke keep and use. And uh, I, I highlighted them, but I didn't actually send them to the box, so I ended up selling them. So I kicked myself for that. And I just found it really ironic because I just mentioned beforehand, yeah, you, know, you want to make sure you don't do that, and then I will go ahead and do it. All right, what do you have to say here? Oh, hey, there's something I need to tell you. Great Baggy has started showing up in the Moga Woods at night. Expect to run into them from now on. Get into the habit of looking at the forecast. Yeah, Great Baggy, those Tundra Dwellers are running into the Moga Woods now at night. Because that's normal. <laughs> mm. No one else has anything to say to us, does... Cha cha. Yes. Light crystal. Bone. Uh, okay. Hey, their chum chum level went up. Beautiful. And you also have that. Oh, I was hoping that'd be a broth, but that's still useful. And that's definitely a useful earth crystal. I now have 49, if my math was right there. 49 earth crystals. I need 80. Yes, you heard that right. 80. <laughs> But anyway, we are coming up to about 30 minutes now, so uh, we're not quite there, but we definitely would be there and then some if we were if I hunted the monster I was originally thinking of doing second, but uh, those Lagombis took longer than I expected. I did not expect them to take 15 minutes. But uh, either way, that is going to bring us to a close for today, so thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you'll come by next time, because we are going to start with the monster I was originally going to do uh, you know, here instead. So that'll be next time. Until then, take care of you here.